Hey, 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 my name is Caroline Raven. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this reel. If you're new here, my name is Caroline Raven. I've been a full time magician for the past seven years. I've been on social media just as long, running my own business. So, on this channel, I teach you everything that has to do with magic and the business side of magic. And this is also perfect for you if you're an entrepreneur or if you run your own business. This video is just dedicated to my Instagram Reels. You're gonna have so much fun doing your Instagram Reels. I am 100% sure of that. So, what you wanna do first is that you wanna tell a story. So, you wanna know what you're gonna be doing. In this case, I know that I'm gonna be showing like me in the morning, I'm with my coffee, you know, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show my time drink in my outfit. I have my props ready my uh, AM to PM drinks so That's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes You're gonna be able to see everything There are a few things that are actually really good to know before starting the one thing that I want to start with is to talk about Hashtags if you want to make sure that people are seeing this make sure you add hashtags to your reel Because otherwise people don't really know where to find it fashion for example is extremely popular on Instagram Especially on the reels because people are like you see jumping in and out of clothes and I have a video like that just to here so you can see that this is probably up to date the most reach I've gotten on one single reel fashion is obviously good So if you want to use the hashtag fashion, you're gonna obviously have a lot of competition So research your hashtags first to make sure you know what you're gonna aim for and what you're doing I'm actually not sure how Instagram is doing with hashtags in the comment section because I use that all the time on my posts But when I do the reels I think it's important to put them in the caption even though people are not gonna be able to see all of your caption but This is something to consider too. So if you take a look here, you're gonna see an example of what is shown in the caption section. This is the tripod I'm using for my phone. This is a uh, Alpha 2800. I'm using a GOB tripod thing for my iPhone. This thing I pop up on here with this little thing here. On my phone I put a macro lens. I'm gonna put all of these things in the description below so you can see what they are. This here is a game changer. I'm not kidding you. This makes everything look so much better. You can use it on your front and back camera and it doesn't matter which kind of phone you have and it's so, so good. To put some voice over what I'm doing with the, uh, when I have my screen recordings for my phone, I am using my blue Yeti mic that I just plug into my computer where I have all my editing software. My camera is on top of a GOB gorilla stand. This also, I've had this for years, brought this with me all over the world and it's so good. And you can actually like take this apart and you can put this around anything. All right, we are all set and we're just about to start filming this, so I hope you are ready. So what I'm first doing is that I have my light set up, I have my camera, I have my, I can't really remember the name of this thing, and I am in the clothes that I wanna be doing this in. So it's in the position where I want it to be. Now let's go into Instagram. Go here to your profile. I just wanna press the plus, go to Rio. What this lens does, if you see the difference, so. This is normal. This I think this is too tight, so I want it to be a little wider. So I think that's better. So we have the lights, it looks good, and we wanna put this to 15 seconds because we don't want anything more than that. So there's a couple of things here to do. The length of time, 15 or 30 seconds. This is the speed, how fast you want it to go. Obviously the X is uh, like 2x, 3x, 4x. That's like how fast it's gonna be and then these ones are to go slower, right? So we're gonna put that to one because I like that speed. Here we can put filters if we want. So maybe maybe that one or um, This one I use a lot. So we're not gonna use any filters. We can put a timer if we want. Here you can put the countdown to either 10 or 3 seconds. Here you decide how long you want it to be. So we're gonna use the countdown actually. We're gonna use 3 second countdown and we are ready to go. Okay, that was the first one. Now we can check if we like that. I think that looks cool. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that, so done. Now we're gonna take the other one, but this time I wanna be in my right clothes. All right, so now I'm all changed. So I wanna do this, like, I wanna align this clip now. So I press here to align. That's the alignment. So that was, which hand was that? I'm holding it in this hand. So that's what I wanna be doing. Okay, so I wanna be there. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna hold it here. Okay, so we're gonna go to timer again. We're gonna put this to... We can always trim this later, by the way. And we can see what it looks like. Okay, 
I was not super happy about that. So we're gonna do that one more time. So we're gonna take this clip and we're gonna remove it. You can always trim this, you know, like going back and forth. I was really happy with this though. Right, so we have it. And if you're getting any value of this, make sure you hit that like button. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, please do and turn on notifications so you know when the next videos are out. So once you're done with your Instagram reel, you obviously want people to see the reel, right? So you want to make sure you post it to the grid. And if you want even more reach, you can put this in your Instagram stories as well to make sure that it actually boosts from the beginning. And don't be shy to repurpose your content. It's okay to share your Instagram reel more than once. If it's a really good reel, see what I did there? Really good reel. Make sure you post it more, multiple times so more people see it. If you're one of those people who like to keep your grid extremely neat and perfect, Perfect. You can always post it to the grid first and make sure people actually see it in their feed and then you can just remove it later and that won't remove it from the Instagram reels just from your grid which is fine. Another thing to consider is the fact that it is going to be different depending on where you're watching your reels because the format is different. If you're watching it in the feed or in if you go into someone's profile it's going to be very different. If you want to make sure that people are seeing all the texts you are putting in your reels make sure you actually check beforehand so it's going to be fitting inside both the full screen and when it's in the feed as well. Also a thing that I see people missing is the fact that right up here is going to say reels. So make sure you don't use that part of the image to put text because people are not going to be able to see it. Another mistake I see people do is that they don't put the effort in to do a cover photo. So if you're putting a lot of effort into making your reel, make sure you also take a good photo. So make sure you're intriguing them like going into checking what your reel is about. There are a lot of free software to do this. I personally use Canva for this. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Canva real soon. Yes, so that's how I did it. I do hope you're going to have a lot of fun using Instagram Reels and I will see you in the next video. Bye!